hello everybody it has been what is going on here what is going on anyway it's been about uh, six months i've owned the monkey now so i thought i'd give you my little pros and cons of this awesome little bike so stick around let me know what you think It's been six months but I've really not ridden it very much because the weather has been shocking and I only like to go out when it's uh, when it's dry oh no gear there um, so yeah this is generally uh, what I've experienced in that time and actually I'll, I'll probably experience a lot more because tomorrow I'm uh, going I'm riding it to the Isle of Wight so from Bristol to Salisbury to meet my cousin and then we're heading off down to the Isle of Wight uh, Saturday morning, a bit of camping, then uh, then back. So no doubt I will uh, really put it to its test, uh, really test it then, put it to its test, whatever. Um, but yeah, I don't want to list out stuff, but just sort of have a chat about the pros and cons, um, what I like, what I don't. I mean, it's an awesome bike, so let's get that out of the way first. It's going to be really difficult to find things I, I don't like. And to be honest, they're not things that are really awful and wrong with it. They're just things that I've considered. So let's uh, get start with the fact it is just an awesome bike. I mean, it, it's brilliant. It's got the 125 engine, so pretty much anyone can jump on this and be all right. Obviously, if you're the right age. Um, the colours are awesome. I've got the yellow, which is my favourite colour, but the, the red, the black, the blue, they all look really good. It's a bike that makes you smile. It's a great fun bike. Uh, I mean, it makes other people smile as well when they're out and about and they see you. You've, you can't ride one of these if you don't want people looking at you. Um, so, yeah, it, from that aspect, it's, it's good, a good, fun bike to have. And the fact it doesn't do the stupid speeds, you're not going to lose your license on it. You're relatively safe as, you know, safe as you can be on a motorbike. It's just got to watch out for other people, etc. But you're not going to get into major issues and, and trouble on this. Um, what else do I, it's, I mean, on the fuel, it's incredible. So I get on average about 130 miles out of a tank. And, um, no, no, I get 130 miles per gallon, sorry. Um, I, I'm not sure what that is in the miles out of the tank. I, I didn't look it up before it came out, but I think that's really, really frugal on the, uh, on the fuel. So that's awesome. Don't know what this person's doing. Don't think they do either. Um, so yeah, for a, a commute, you're going to get multiple commutes out of this. And to be honest, that's the real reason I bought this bike and one of the reasons I haven't really ridden it because I thought I was going to get a job in town, which well, required me to get in and out and I didn't want to go on the bus, the loser cruiser. Um, so yeah, I bought this, but that never came off. My other work kind of grew a bit more and yeah, the job wasn't needed, so... It's kind of just been a, a toy, I suppose. So one of the things that slightly grates me about the monkey is the stock version. So um, out the... Are you going in? Alright. The stock version. Um, you pretty much have to upgrade it, I think certainly the rear suspension because if you're a larger person such as myself the rear suspension really isn't very forgiving you will bottom it out quite a lot um but yeah you know a simple upgrade like i've got on the rear shocks um i don't i never bottom it out and actually the ones i've got are adjustable as well so um if i ever lost any weight then i could make it a bit softer <laughs> that's not gonna happen any day soon um, that's another positive really the bike is designed to be modified I've got what's what have I got on here so I've got you know mirror extenders aftermarket exhaust I think is a must the, the, the standard one's not that bad but you 
certainly want to be heard I think on this because as it's such a small bike there is the danger that you might not be seen so if you've got the the louder pipe on there then um, yeah you'll uh, you'll be heard more than seen Whee, there's the limiter so off the lights it's still pretty nippy I mean, top speed wise I'll probably get about 65 out of it if I'm really trying on the motorway tuck in behind a lorry there is a danger of getting 70 indicated 70 but uh, yeah we'll see what that is in real life certainly not going to 70 um, something else that's really good about the, the bike in general is the, the low running costs I mean I had this service to you know proper service at a dealership not a dealership a um, bike mechanics 90 quid um, that's a bargain yeah. a lot of people do it themselves but I'm not that way inclined so uh, yeah 90 quid done one thing you've got to be mindful of is I did need to replace the battery now this is a 20, that's 71 plate bike so what is it it's, going to do, it's just over two years old um, and the battery had gone the standard battery from Honda so I don't think they're the best but you know it's only a very tiny battery anyway but that was going so I was finding starting the bike was getting a little bit difficult um, I mean it was it just wasn't firing so new battery sorted that right out something I don't like about this particular bike is it has knobbly tires on it so not the standard road tires it comes with the more sort of off-road knobbly ones and at speed I mean I don't know if you can hear it now I don't know if the microphone picks it up but there is a bit of a whine a bit of a strange noise that comes off the tires now I bought this bike second hand so they were on it when I bought it and I like the look of it and I thought yeah awesome but you know now I've ridden it a bit they do my head in so I would I would put the, uh, the standard ones on it might be something you might want to consider if perhaps you are thinking about changing the tires as well um, the seat oh the seat is really comfy it's really nice nice and big at the back so I can get my fat ass on it um, but it's just generally comfortable you can ride this bike for hours uh, because it's just a comfortable thing to be on I get no vibrations through the handlebars by the way even with the knobbly tires on nothing comes up which is great which just adds to the fact that this bike can be ridden for a long time I think Honda have got this bike bang on with you know it's not dis it's not aimed at learner riders it's not aimed at old people it's not aimed at people getting back into biking it's I don't know who it's aimed at to be honest I think it's aimed at people with a sense of fun and oh, that's cool uh, a sense of fun uh, and maybe the slightly more extrovert people which totally goes against me because I'm very introverted but um, of course with a helmet on no can see you <laughs> um, but yeah this it's just a brilliant bike I have to say so finding things that are wrong with it is really really difficult in fact that I there's nothing wrong with it, it's a Honda, it's solid, it's well put together, it's reliable, it's cheap to run, um, it's just a, a funky fun bike, so that's it, so I've done 300 miles in that six months, with, which is pretty shocking, but that has been through winter, and like I say, it was, it was bought as a commuter bike, it's just been sat in the garage, sadly, which then begs the question, is it needed, um, so that's the current dilemma I've got going on at the moment, <laughs> get an aftermarket exhaust um, I'm actually not sure which one this is it was only when I bought it um, but anyway yeah so at the moment this bike's a luxury it's a toy it's something I don't need it's a yeah I just wonder whether it sticks around for much longer after this Isle of Wight trip at the weekend but anyway I, um, I hope I've given you a flavour of my life with the monkey for the past six months it's a bike I've always wanted and I love it um, if it did go I would sorely miss it and no doubt want another one straight away so that's the, uh, that's the consideration um, but yeah it's oh, if anyone's considering getting a monkey I would say yeah 
do it. It's good fun. Anyway, let me know if you've got any questions in the comments below. Have you got a monkey? Do you like it as much as I like mine? And also, if you can help me justify why I should keep the monkey as a toy, um, that would be much appreciated because I've obviously got the wife at home who uh, needs convincing. Apparently children are more important than a motorbike. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to think about that. Um, so yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, oh, and keep an eye, actually, bottom minute, keep a lookout for the um, Isle of Wight trip because I will take the GoPro on the helmet. Oh, oh that wasn't a thing. I hope you like where I've put the helmet, uh, the, uh, the camera now on the helmet. It was just static on my chest previously. But hopefully you like this. You can see a bit more what I'm looking at. A bit more of a POV perspective, I, I suspect. Anyway, I'm waffling now, so take care. Until next time, um, like and subscribe. Bye-bye now.